psi in 6 vertebrates objectives at the end of the lesson you should be able to determine and distinguish characteristics of vertebrates name different groups of vertebrates classify animals that belong to each group of vertebrates touch the middle of your back can you feel a hard bony structure running from your neck to your lower back can you tell the name of this bone structure correct it's the backbone or the spinal column For humans, our backbones support our movement and connect different bone parts from head to legs. Having backbones also means having a long nerve tube called spinal cord that connects our brain to different body parts. Did you know that there are other non-human animals with backbones? Together with humans, these animals are called vertebrates. They also have brains and a central nervous system. Their backbones allow them to move in distinct ways. Learn more about vertebrates in this lesson. Vertebrates and classifications of vertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with backbones. Vertebrates are divided into different groups such as fish, amphibian, reptile, bird, and mammal. Fish are aquatic animals that breathe through their gills. They use fins for locomotion. Their backbone supports their body while moving in water. They are cold-blooded except for opera moonfish, which was discovered in 2015 to be the only known fully warm-blooded fish. Cold-blooded animals need external sources of heat to warm their bodies, while warm-blooded animals can generate their own heat to warm their bodies. Fishes can be divided into three groups. Agnatha Chondrichthyes, Osteichthyes, Agnatha, or jawless fish. These fishes were the earliest group of fish found in fossils. Their large gills act as food filter and respiratory organ. This fish group includes lampreys and hagfishes. The only known living Agnatha as of today lives as parasites, lampreys, and scavengers, hagfishes, on other fish. These long, slimy fishes lack scales and look like eels. Chondrichthyes, or cartilaginous fish. Unlike bony fish, the jaws and skeleton of these fishes are made of cartilage, not bones. This fish group includes sharks, rays, and chimeras. Osteichthyes, or fish with bony skeleton. Unlike the first two groups, they have jaws and skeleton made of bones. They are the largest group of fish, where most of the fish you know belong. This fish group includes milkfisher banyus, tilapia, and salmon. Amphibians belong to the group called amphibia. They are also cold-blooded animals that live parts of their life in water and on land. They have moist skin that helps them breathe and take in oxygen, aside from their lungs. This type of breathing is called cutaneous respiration. Keeping their skin moist is important that is why they are often found in wet moist environments. They also lay their eggs in water to keep the embryo of their offspring moist. Amphibians include frogs, salamanders, and newts. Reptiles are cold-blooded animals that are covered with smoother rough scales. Their skin is mostly waterproof, meaning water cannot pass through their skin. Most reptiles lay hard-shelled eggs, except for some of avavibibra snakes and lizards. They lay eggs on land, even aquatic reptiles. Reptiles include alligators, crocodiles, lizards, snakes, turtles, geckos, 
and iguanas. Birds are warm-blooded animals that have feathers. Many of them have wings but not all. Also, not all birds with wings can fly in the sky. Birds have strong and lightweight bones, strong chest muscles, and efficient respiratory system that are adapted for flying. Birds include flamingos, ostriches, hawks, owls, parrots, ducks, turkeys, and chickens. Mammals are warm-blooded animals with hair as body covering aside from the skin. Their special organs called glands produce milk for the young, perspiration to regulate body temperature, and sebum to lubricate the skin. They also have unique heart features and bones, such as the jaw bones and the three inner ear bones. Mammals include the monkeys, kangaroos, platypus, rabbits, dolphins, deer, and bats. Primates are the highest order of animals. They have well-developed brains, hands and feet with nails, eyes that face forward with good eyesight. Primates include orangutan, monkeys, gorillas, chimpanzees, and baboons. Marsupials are mammals of which the female has a pouch to keep their offspring as they continue to develop and grow. Marsupials include kangaroos and colas. Monotremes are egg-laying mammals. Monotremes include the platypus and the short and long-beaked echidnas or spiny anteaters. Rodents are mammals that are also called gnawing animals because of the way they eat. These mammals have chisel-like upper and lower front teeth. Rodents include mice, porcupines, chipmunks, squirrels, and beavers. Cetaceans are marine mammals. They live in water, but they must come to surface to breathe air through their blowholes or the nostrils on top of their heads. Cetaceans include whales, dolphins, and porpoise. Ungulates are known as hoofed mammals, are divided into two groups, even-toed hoofed mammals, with a hoof split into two toes and odd-toed hoofed mammals with a hoof that is not split, or one toe, or split into three toes. Even-toed ungulates include deer, giraffes, pigs, and cattle. Odd-toed ungulates include horses, rhinoceroses, and tapirs. Chiropteran are flying mammals. They form their wings from a thin membrane of skin that stretches from their forelimbs to their hind legs. The only mammal that can fly is the bat. Practice exercise. Identify the group of vertebrate animals being described. 1. These animals are warm-blooded, have feathers, birds. 2. These animals are cold-blooded, leave parts of their life in water and on land. 3. Amphibians. 3. These animals are covered with hair, have three inner ear bones. 4. Mammals. 4. These animals breathe through gills underwater, have fins for locomotion. Fishes. 5. These animals are covered with smoother rough scales, have mostly waterproof skin. Reptiles.